Hello, wax friends. I'm Maggie, and welcome back to my channel. I am on my lunch hour or half hour um, this Thursday, and uh, I'm coming to you with kind of a combined video. So tomorrow morning, we are leaving for Alabama. So I won't be obviously melting this weekend, so I won't be doing my empties on Sunday because I'm really not sure when we'll get back Sunday. I have a feeling it's going to be really late at night. So I thought, you know, I'm going to do my what I've melted through since my last empties and I'm going to combine it with um, a tag that I was tagged in. I was tagged by Stephanie at Steph Loves Life and it's basically um, she got tagged by April the Wax Queen uh, who is focusing on a single vendor for the month and so she tagged Stephanie and Stephanie tagged me and I chose the same vendor as them which is Second and Spruce and I pulled enough to do for the remainder of the month and because I've pulled a melting basket for March. So what I did is I just pulled some of my oldest second spruce that wasn't Christmas themed and I'm just going to work on that for the remainder of the month. And I'm really kind of excited about this because otherwise I try to pick from a lot of different people for the week and sometimes depending on where I have that vendor's wax, I don't reach for it. And that is kind of the case with my second and spruce because I have all my oldest wax here in my office. And second and spruce wax is, is newer. Um, I have some that's a year old or almost a year old, but I have a lot of wax here in my office that's a lot older. So I tend to just pull from that and I don't go in the bedrooms and pull from some of my newer wax. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> So we're gonna do both, okay? I know that was kind of a lot. So let's go through what I've been warming since my last empties, which was just Sunday, so I don't have a ton, but I have a lot of the scentsy new scents for spring and summer. So we will start with the first one that um, I'm actually melting this today. I put two cubes of Berry Sweet in my bathroom warmer. This is fresh blueberries and red strawberries coated in a sweet candy glaze. Now on cold, I, I don't think I was overwhelmed by this one. It is a candied strawberry smell. I don't get a lot of the blueberry. It's not doing bad. It's a light medium, medium light type scent in my bathroom right now with the two cubes. Um, I don't like this as much as red, white, and berry pie. So, and I think, you know, they both have the, which red, white, and berry pie? Is it strawberry? I know it's blueberry. It might be raspberry. I don't know. Um, you know, I think that some people are going to like this. I, I really do. It's, I think it's similar to red, white, and berry pie, but not as good. So I would definitely keep, and I have that in my club, and I'm going to keep that in my club. I'm going to melt this again next week in my bedroom and do more cubes and see how I feel about it. Sometimes I things get lost in that bathroom. So, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people are going to like this. I think a lot of people aren't because they're going to say it's candied and artificial. And I'm going to, I think a lot of people are going to say that it reminds them of red, white, and berry pie, but isn't as good. So, so yeah, but I'm going to try that again. So I will have that in another empties probably the next next weekend maybe that's what we're gonna do i did get through a candle all the way Woohoo! look at that um i finished this up yesterday in my crock uh peppermint we uh whip from goose creek i don't think there's notes on these it's basically just a creamy peppermint it was pretty good. It melted great. Like I said, I finished it up in the crock and then I dumped the wax out just because it makes my trash so heavy. Um, I would get this again. I have a lot of peppermint candles right now, so I'm not in the market for any peppermint. I have a lot of um, candy cane from Bath & Body and uh, twisted peppermint from Bath & Body. So I'm not really in the market right now, but I'm not against another one. You know? And then, oh, this one I did not. This one's full. Okay, so this one I finished up too. Uh, Palo Santo from Bath & Body Works. This is a staple. I have a lot of these. I will continue to purchase these. Um, really, anytime I see a good deal on them, I'm going to pick one up. 
This is Palo Santo Wood Warm Amber Soft Musk Cream. This goes great with so many of my um, wax melts. So I will always have this candle. I love it. I did finish this one up in the crock and I actually, it's pretty full because I added some wax that I didn't think completely lost its scent and it was um, Palo Santo blend. So I just poured this in because the candle was down pretty far. So, yep, I will always repurchase that. I love it. Okay, let's talk about this, Bamboo and Rainfall. This is a new scent for spring and summer from Scentsy. It is an exhilarating rainfall pours down over fresh bamboo and bright melon water. I've done four cubes of this in my daughter's bedroom. It's a big bedroom, high ceilings. It is on its fourth day today. So I turn it on first thing in the morning, turn it off usually 8 o'clock, 8.30, something like that. It's on day four. Um, the first day it was so strong. I probably would start off with just two cubes instead of four. It is that strong, but then it mellowed out and it's just a beautiful, um, melon and rain scent. I mean, it's very green. So if you like these kind of scents, this is a powerhouse. And like I said, it's going on for day four will pick up another bar of this. It's not the type of scent I need a lot of. It's not a club bar for me, um, but it's a, it's, it's a great bar, especially if you like this type of green, um, aquatic, rainy, not really oceany aquatic. That's, that's kind of different, but just kind of that green rain, but it's sweet. It's got that melon in there. So it's good. Okay, the next one is Wild Cherry and Sakura, and it's another one of Scentsy's new bars. This is Wild Cherry Accents the Delicate Beauty of Sakura Blossom and Pink Jasmine. So this one, I don't really know what Sakura Blossom is supposed to smell like. I would have, without scent notes, I would have asked, I would have said there was current in this. I would have thought it was some kind of red current type of scent. It's very body care. What I did with this is I mixed this in my open concept with, not that, <laughs> a, yep, right here. I mixed it with Whistler in the Woods from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is a, um, it says, uh, outside the lodge. Okay, hold on a minute. Explore, let's see, explore a forest path outside your lodge as woodsy notes of western red cedar and Pacific silver fir weave a trail alongside Whistler spruce and charred woods above a damp forest floor. Okay, guys, um, I didn't get a lot of, okay, if it's tree, it's like tree bark. It's not green tree. It's not, you don't, don't think um, the greenery, think the wood and think charred and smoky. And that's what this is. And I mix this all through my open concept with this and this was the dominant note. If I would have been thinking, I would have mixed this with Around the Campfire from Scentsy. I think that would be great. Um, this was a great bar. It really was. And there, it is body care leaning, I think. But I smell, I smell current. And then, yeah, I think I get the jasmine. I think that's what I'm smelling. I really don't know what a Sakura Blossom smells like. I didn't hate this. I, I really didn't. Um, I might pick up another bar. I'm not against that. And trying it with Around the Campfire, I this is not something that I would need to club. It's not something I would want a lot of. But, I mean, it was a great performer. I'm really getting great performance from these new bars. You know, I know all these scents are going to be up everybody's alley, and that's fine. Um, but they're performing well. So, and this Whistler in the Woods, is it was good. I think I like Around the Campfire better. 
Um, this isn't my favorite woodsy charred type scent, so I don't think that I'll get any more of this. Unless I forget that I've had it before, which we all know that I do that. Okay, today. So, if you all remember, I think maybe two empties videos ago, I talked about Melty. Case of the Mondays from the Melted Mousse. This is salted caramel zucchini bread and a hot cup of coffee. If you remember, I said that I'd put this all through my open concept. It was just way too much for Brad. He was coughing and hacking and said he couldn't breathe and he did not like this at all. So I had said that I would just, I took it out, said I will melt this when he's gone. There's going to be a lot of baseball coming up that he's gone. So what I did with this today is obviously I only used half. And I mixed it all throughout my open concept with some Palo Santo. Palo Santo makes everything better, I think. Um, and this is pretty good. He's not complaining. I had someone come to the house to drop off something I ordered, and she thought it smelled really nice in here. Um, Case of the Mondays from the Melted Mousse. 10 out of 10 performer. Not my favorite coffee. This really comes off chocolatey and like a mocha to me. So it would not be a coffee that I would repurchase. Yeah, it's got to be that salted caramel note, but I really get choc heavy chocolatey or a mocha. I don't get a lot of the zucchini bread. So I have some of this left. So I'll either do this mix again with the Palo Santo or maybe I'll mix it with some French bread or something just to lighten that up a little bit. But if you like mocha type coffee scents, this is a dynamite performance. So it's just a, you know, personal preference. Um, okay, on Tuesday, in my open concept in my office, I had two souffles of Jason from Brita's. Now this is Hipster. Hipster is kind of a masculine, aquatic cologne kind of scent to my nose. And it was mixed with vanilla bean marshmallow and roasted pine cones. Now I had two of these. One from 4 of 22 and one from 10 of 22. And this one actually came from summer in either a random act of kindness or a D stash. So I was really excited about this one. It is a great scent. Um, it was... It was really strong on the pine cone. Well, I think it was kind of an even blend of pine cones and that hipster. This one, for me, only lasted till about noon. It went in at 7. I was up really early that day. Um, so it was going by 7, but I took it out at about noon because I just wasn't getting a whole lot from it anymore. It's kind of rare uh, for me and Britta's, but it is what it is. I mean, that's five hours. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, if they get five hours out of vendor wax, they're happy. I usually hope, I hope to get more, and I usually do from Brita's. This one, for whatever reason, could have been my nose, could have been the temperature of the house. I don't know. Um, I just got about the five hours, and it was nice. It's a really nice scent if you like that, um, an aquatic cologne with, uh, pine cones. Yeah. I mean... I encourage everybody to try things because everybody's, um, everybody gets different performance. I mean, it is what it is. So when I took that out, I put in blueberry zucchini bread from Ebony and Ivory Wax. I liked this a lot. Um, this was about a five hour performer too for, a, okay, when I say that, I say that for Someone with a nose like me who wants their sense to be knocking them over, okay? So I guarantee um, from the, um, from five to eight o'clock when I finally took this out of the warmers, I am sure someone could have walked in my house and smelled this perfectly. For me, at the five hour mark, it really started to die down. But that's for someone who wants stuff to knock them over, right? Um, it was really blueberry heavy at first and then the blueberry did taper off and then it was zucchini bread heavy. And that is probably why I really noticed at five o'clock that I couldn't smell it the way I did before, because I did notice that I was getting more of the bread at the end 
where it was knock your socks off blueberry from the start. I would get more of this. I really enjoyed it. I like this blueberry. I like the zucchini bread. Yep, Ebony Ivory Wax. And then she is from Illinois. So I would get more of that one. Okay, Moon Orchid, another new scent from Scentsy. This one is Bright Bergamot Illuminates a Path Lined with Beautiful Night Blooming Jasmine and Vanilla Orchid. If I remember right when I did cold sniffs, this one, I didn't care for this one at all. I wasn't excited about this. Um, you know, I did, let's see how do I do this. I did one cube of this in my bathroom yesterday and um, I liked it better on warm than I did on cold. I've got two cubes of this going in my bedroom today and two cubes is enough. It is a nice, mellow, floral, um, I got, I would have, if I didn't have the scent notes, I think, I would have said there's a berry of some kind in this. I don't know what kind of berry I would have said. Maybe um, a floral-leaning raspberry or, no, no, maybe like a, a mixed berry kind of note, but it's definitely floral leaning and I'm not, it's, it's not what I would say. I wouldn't call it a fruity bar. Um, it's definitely floral. I think any more than this would be too much floral for me. This is not something I'm gonna get more of. I may keep it. I'll probably give this to my mom because it's just not something I have to have, but it's, I, I like it better warming than I do on cold. You know what? It kind of smells grapey to me. I kind of get grape, like a grape berry from this. Yeah. Like I said, it's growing on me. I like it better than I did when we first got it. So, but it's not something I need more of. And it's, it's a solid performer. Like I said, I'm not using a lot. I do think it would throw extremely well if I you know, did two cubes and three of my warmers in my bedroom. I'm just doing one cube each and two warmers, so. Then we have Peach and Grapefruit Mimosa. This is from the Easter collection, and I love that Easter collection. This is Grapefruit, Sweet Peach, and Vanilla. Yeah, I did two cubes of this in, where did I put this? Two cubes of this, yeah, because I did this one yesterday, okay, in my bathroom. And it's a strong grapefruit sweet performer. Heavy on the grapefruit to me, I like it. I like all three bars that are in this collection. There is a strawberry bar, and there's a lemon lime bar, and there's this. And I love them all, and I'm getting more of them. I really, really like them. The last Scentsy Bring Back My Bar, or no, Bring Back My Bar, Maggie, oh my gosh, um, new bar that I have is from the St. Pat's Collection, which they just released one bar, and it's called Follow the Rainbow. Um, this one is Golden Pineapple Sugared Berries and Blood Orange. I did this, I did, first I did two cubes in the bathroom, and it was good, it was fine. I did the rest of the bar in my uh, bedroom and on sweet bath yesterday. Brad liked this. He even said he liked it. He said it smelled great. It is the pineapple sugared berries and blood orange. I think I said that. Um, yeah, I get a lot of the pineapple and um, I think this is good too. I don't think I'm going to order any more of this though. There are other pineapple waxes that are in the catalog. Um, yeah, I don't think I need any more of this, but it performed really well. You know, it's a fruity pineapple citrusy bar. You know, we get a lot of that. So nothing that is really new to us, I guess. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I love the Easter collection. I'm very happy with that. It's what my nose wants to smell right now, especially that lemon lime strawberry mixture had good luck with the spring summer bars they're not all you know exactly what I want um, but for the I, I'm not I'm not complaining about the new bars they're performing well a little bit of something for everyone except heavy bakery and I know that a lot of Scentsy um, 
people who who only do Scentsy, they they do they're lacking in the bakery category definitely. I do vendor wax and retail wax along with Scentsy, so you know I I can get my bakery fix elsewhere. But okay, what else do we have? So this was yesterday. This was yesterday. So yesterday in my open concept from about seven o'clock till about one in the afternoon, I did Twisted Winter from Empower, Empire Alchemy. This is Twisted Peppermint, Patchouli, Black Pepper, Toasted Marshmallow, and Smoldering Woods. This was a low medium. I love this scent on cold. I really do. The patchouli mixed with the peppermint just adds something really special to this blend. It's a little smoky, not overly, um, but the performance just wasn't great for me. Um, yeah, it was like a low, low medium type performer. Um, so I have some ideas. I'm either gonna do the rest of this in my bedroom, where I think it will perform better with the door closed, or I've got some patchouli, just straight patchouli from some vendors I might add with this. Um, I have, I might take this and mix this with the rest of this woodsy. I might, I, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna take the rest of this, there's a little bit here, mix it with this, and I might have to add some more patchouli to amp it up a little bit. This really is a great, a great blend on cold. Now this is from August of 22. I hope I didn't wait too long. But I did melt something from Empire Alchemy that's the same age, I think, last week in my empties, and it was fantastic. Yeah, this is a great scent on cold. I really, really like this. Um, yeah, so, um, you know what? I'm going to mix it with some stuff to use it up. I'm actually going to put these two together in this bag. You know, I've had it double bagged, so I don't know. So when I took this out, I went ahead and put this in. When I visited the Sassy Girl Aroma store, storefront, I grabbed, I grabbed four of these and I put one in a round robin, but this is white birch and shiplap. It's teak and balsam woods with a rich base note of tonka bean. And I got three of these. I cut each one of these in half and put in my open concept. And this was a power house. This is a great scent. Um, I think I might have seen this in a snap bar since I've been there, but I'm not sure. So definitely teak reminds me of mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. There's a really sweet note in here. I don't know if it's the tonka bean or the balsam. Kind of gives it a gives it a really sweet um, almost like a boozy note. I don't know, but this was really, really good. I would get more of this. Now, it's it's a powerhouse. It's, I don't know, I think a lot of people think mahogany teak wood or teak leans manly. And maybe it does a little bit. I don't know. So, for my numbers this week, um, we are at, started the week with 3,878 ended with 3,874. I only got three pieces of wax in this week and that was three Scentsy bars that had been back, back ordered and I, they didn't come from in my order the previous week. So I didn't get any vendor wax in this week at all. Well, as of today, I think something's gonna come on Saturday. But hey, this is where we're at, right? Okay. <laughs> This is where we're at for now. So I'll adjust when I get back from my trip and see that um, if something else came in, I'll adjust. So pretty good. So three in and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out so far. So, okay. So my tagged video, I'm going to focus the rest of the month on second spruce and try to get through all this. So I'm going to go through this kind of fast because it's already a long video. I have a souffle in blackberry smoke. Blackberry, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Souffle and Carnival Nights. Oh, Haunted Car Carnival Nights. This is Mallow Fireside, Caramel Apples, Funnel Cake, Cotton Candy, Dark Berries, and an extra hint of smoke. I have two bunts in 
I know. Vanilla cream cake, raspberry puree, drizzle. Yeah, vanilla cream cake and raspberry puree drizzle. I have Pivot, Palo Santo and Rich Vanilla Buttercream. Carb Battle Royale, Sugar Cookie Royale, Fresh Baked Bread, Zucchini Bread, Pretzel, Sugar Cookie Dough, Cinnamon Sugar Donuts, that. I have some coffee wax from her that I did not pull. It's in the other room. It'll be a surprise when you see it in my next empties. Um, blackberry cashmere cookies, blackberry cashmere cream, and rich sugar cookies. A mist pour of Gadzooks, which is zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale, and sugar cookie dough. I wish she'd mist pour some more. That was fun. Um, brown bag lunch, peanut butter, raspberry jam, and fresh baked bread. Cracklin Comfort. I'm excited about this one. Cracklin Birch, rich sugar cookies, waffle cone, and vanilla buttercream. Two more. Salad Queen, strawberry jello, pretzel cheesecake, birthday cake, and mallow fluff. This is an amazing strawberry. I love the way that strawberry smells. And morning cartoons and lemon bars. Fruit Loops, zucchini bread, sweet milk. I love sweet milk. And lemon bars. This is a really strong one on cold. So, the rest of the month, I'm going to focus on that. Plus, I've got, I think, three coffee blends of hers that I had pulled and forgot to bring them in here. So, those will be a surprise. So, we'll see how much of this I can get through. So, um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. And I'm going to check and see who has been tagged and who hasn't. And, um, but yeah, feel free. Pick a vendor and, and really focus on them for even, even if you're only going to do it a week or the rest of the month or if you want to do it a whole month. I have some vendors I could do a whole month um, and not repeat anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I will see you guys later. I'm, I still have that uh, one whole video to do for you that I just haven't got around to it. I don't know if I'll get around to it before we leave tomorrow. Um, if not, I will see you guys when I get back. Thanks. Bye.